This is Black QTV recording live from Hammersmith. We're talking to Bigatron, one of the men from Shepherd's Bush, about his life experiences and growing up in West London. To try to influence the children not to follow in his footsteps. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice, my brother. Nice. How did you get the name Bigatron? Well, to be honest with you, I loved the Transformers when I was a kid. And I realised from a very young age, well, I was always overweight and I realised that I had to be able to run fast, yeah? So I was able to, like, change from being an overweight kid to a fat, fast kid. And okay. I could run. I could run as a fat, fast kid. So I used to transform. And basically, yeah, that was it. That's how you got the name? Yep. I transformed on everything. OK, OK. How old are you? I'm 46. 46. And when were you born? I was born in 1975. Okay, okay. 1975. So where did you go to school? Did you go to school in West London your whole life? Well, no. I originally... I'm an original East London man. I was originally born in Hackney. And I moved to West London when I was 14. But I grew up in Hackney to, for, for my very first years. Yeah? Yeah. And what was it like there? Well, to be honest with you, Hackney was a different kettle of fish. Mm. You know, in Hackney it was very, 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 everyone stuck together. Everyone was united. It was more unity in Hackney. But when I reached West London, I noticed it was a bit different. I noticed West London man a bit more clever. They're a bit more smarter. So from them ages there, it was like me and the rest of them, we were fighting, Chad. He's fighting all the time, yeah? All the time, fighting. Okay, okay. Um, where did you go to school? I went to school in White City, Canberra. I went okay. to Canberra School in White City. On the estate, so you know all the boys from from yeah. there. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know that Canberra School was one of the, it is the biggest primary school in in England. Is like it? for the size of it. Yeah, it's massive. Canberra those who went to Canberra knew that if you're gonna have a fight you could go anywhere and have a fight because it's a massive, great, big school. OK, OK. Yeah. Did you... Um, how did you get into crime? Well, I got into crime from White City Estate. Yeah? Yeah, I used to hang around on that estate. I went to school in the estate. You know, so everything... what did you see? What did you see growing up in... Well, it what was did you see? Queen's Park Rangers and it was car stereos, man. Car stereos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was car stereos. So like Pioneer Pull Out? Pine yeah, the Blau Point, New York, the whole lot. <laughs> the whole lot, you We've know. There were spark plugs. Well, and... yep, yeah, spark plugs, stones, anything went through the car window. On a Saturday, yeah. Saturday okay. was like, you know what I mean? Everyone was going to watch the football and we was going to go and watch their motors. You know okay, what I mean? OK, <laughs> so... and from there it went from what? Well, to be honest with you, like, one of them football days... I was walking along, looking for the stereo, and I see something gold glinting in the corner of my eye. And I said, oh, no, he's only going to got an 18 on. And like, boy... 18? What's an 18? 18. 18, you know, 18 carat gold Rolex. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was young at the time as well. And I'd heard a few elders saying, boy, it, you know, it's soft, the gold's soft, and it will rip off like butter. And me being me, I, I only went and ripped it. Oh, yeah? I no. ripped it and I was through the warm-up part. As I said, I was fat, but I could run. I could transform. I was gone. <laughs> How much did you get for that? I got £3,000. And then they, them days... What, they, what year was that? What year were we talking about? Boy, I couldn't tell you now, man. I couldn't tell you now, man. I'd be, that, that was be disclosing, you know what I mean? Well, in the 90s. <laughs> that, that's beyond the disclosure <laughs> act. <laughs> OK. okay. Yeah, me, so, like, that was quay back. That's all I could say. I was young then, you know what I mean? OK, and from there, yeah. well, you just didn't look back? Well, to be honest with you, it kind of like, you know, my, my, my life of crime... Like, my rebellion come when my, my parents died. Like, both my parents died when I was 18. Oh, no. And what? it happened while I was going to school, um, Hammersmith School. So I then went off the rails. You know, I went really, really, like, you know, I didn't care because my heart had gone. So I basically became ruthless around them times there. And, like, I didn't really care much both, about... Both your parents Both passed. my parents died, yeah. How? How that happened? Well, one died of cancer okay. in the liver. And then my dad, he, he, he was schizophrenic. OK. And he learnt about this. And he made his way over to this side of London, from East London. Mm -hmm. And I actually bumped into him one day. 
in Hammersmith train station. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was sat there, Jads. He was sat there in a bundle of um, cans, rubbish, this, that. And he was sat there. You know the bit in Hammersmith train station that you can go through the little, the little side bit? Yeah. I walked through there one day and I see him there. I said, Dad. I said, Dad. And he just, he was vacant. He was just he looked. There? He didn't know I was there. He didn't know me. The medication. Well, was, when they don't he... take the medication, yeah. that's when, as the saying goes, the lights are on but no one's in. And that's what exactly what it, what, what, what it was. And that just made you... So I walked from that station and I, and I, <clears throat> I swallowed, mm -hmm. you know, I breathed and I held it. As of mine, I held it. And then I just kept going about my business. So you never saw him again after that? No, you? no, no. A, li a little way after that, he died. Okay. You know. Okay, so then he went into... Whoa, I went into like, boy, around them times, I went into being a DJ, you know what I mean? An MC, DJ, like music. What, mu what music was you into then? Well, I started out as a jungle MC. Okay. Because, yeah, you know... What I've was your jungle into... name? MC Bigatron. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, MC Bigatron. So I started out as an MC down in a place called the Laser Drum in Peckham. Okay. And it, uh, basically one of our West London security men, Mr. Fish, used to work down there on a Saturday, yeah? Mm -hmm. And basically, we used to go there, and I used to go there at first, and I was selling Jack and Jill's in there. You know okay. what I mean? I was yeah. selling pills in there, yeah? yeah? And, yeah. Um, you know, me being me, I then decided I want to jump on the mic. Oh, so yeah? So I started batting up the MCs down there to get the mic from them. And then, yeah, they started freeing it up. MC Reality, big up, done though. But hear what? That's what it was, and in no time at all, I realised that I was MCing alongside DJ Randall, Dr. Esh Gache, um, Loft Groover, flipping Carl Cox, like, you know, even... Um, All the big names. Yeah, and funny enough, the lighting man was MJ Cole. <laughs> that okay. was funny. Like, the, those who know, it was Sally, she used to be the promoter. Mm -hmm. It used to be Sonia, which is Shola Amma's mum. She used to be worked down there every week. And this was when Shola Amma was just a little girl, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, it was basically from there that, yeah, I started to be MC Bigotron. And like, I, I, I started on the radio stations over here, you know, I started to get to know all the, all the DJs on the circuit. But then it was a, it was a two way street for me because I was out there originally hustling. Yeah. Yeah. But I was a good DJ. Well, I am a good DJ and I am a good MC. But so, I was hustling. That was what so you couldn't first. Make, you couldn't make a living living from that then. Mm, not really. Well, if I would have done what EZ and all the rest of them boys did, Norris the boss and that, you know, what I mean, I'd have been all right right now, Jads. But to be honest with you, dude, I come from the roads, man. I come from the hard grind. I need to feel that because don't forget. He's attracted to it. My my, my I, I was thrown into the world, but where my parents went. Because there ain't no uncles, there ain't no aunties, there ain't no one like that. You ain't got no brothers and sisters? I've got a brother and two sisters. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. You Where know what are I mean? they now? Well, my brother, he's in the penitentiary doing a life sentence. Okay. My, other, my eldest sister, she got multiple cirrhosis after her fifth child. And God, God, God help her, she's now sort of like in a terminal situation in a caring home. Oh. But she had five beautiful children. You know what I mean? Are you in to, contact to, with them? Uh, to be honest them. with you, I'm I'm in black sheep zone at the moment. You know what okay, I mean? I'm, okay. I'm 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 black sheep. To be honest with you, you're the black yeah. sheep, yeah. Yeah, like too too. I've become too too, too much. Too yeah, much. Too, too notorious. Much. But too I never much. brought it around the doorstep, and I never brought it to the family home. But they're just hearing things on the road and this and, they don't and that. Hear. And they want to hear nothing yeah, else. Yeah, they know they they know what it is. They know that I go the full ticket, and that's what it is because they know that. I had the greatest loss, so I'm not really, I'm not really thinking. When it comes to true grit, I know myself. You understand me? And true grit is a thing that a man will have to know. And I learned that in the Caribbean. But we'll get to that. Oh, you ended up in the Caribbean, yeah? Yeah. Where about? September the 11th, the day of the bombing. Where did you go? Well, I was flying from St. Vincent to Barbados. What, when the 7-7 bombers were doing their madness? No, September the 11th, oh, sorry, the sorry. first one, James. Oh yeah, go on, go on. September the 11th, the day of the bombing. Well, I've been doing a bit of trafficking by then, up and down, up and down, round and round. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, basically, so I didn't know security had been 
I'm heightened worldwide. Yeah. 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 So I do my normal business man manoeuvre, look gold and brown, nice, you know what I mean? Look the business part, laptop bag, everything, boom, boom, boom. Oh, but yeah. security, they're watching everyone, every suspected, because don't forget, by the time I got on that plane, the, the, um, the, the towers had just been hit. Okay. Do you understand me? So I didn't know, yeah? So they basically watched me get off the plane and that was it. I spent my next three years in Barbados. What, in jail? In prison, yeah. For what? What exactly? For you trafficking getting... cocaine. Yeah, how much? Well, it was half a box. Okay. It wasn't the greatest it was still thing, like half a kilo. but it was my half a box and it worked for nobody. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't do, I didn't work for nobody. Always, I always done my thing, you understand me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what was it like being in prison in Barbados? Well, that in itself. For a national. Well, to be honest with you, I know about True Grit Jads, yeah? Because don't forget, I'm Vincentian, yeah? Go on. I'm from St. Vincent yeah. and the Grenadines, yeah? Yeah. Now, in Vinci, we're hard-working people because that's all we've got is our hard work, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, we're, we're, we're people of hard work and we don't play, yeah? So when I went there now, I know my bloodline is Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So when the Bajans now started bringing their fuckery around me, I'm only gonna react with my Caribbean bloodline. And yeah. it just cutting each and every time. And guess what? They had to give me a standing ovation as I left that place. You know why, Jads? Go on. Because I, bad up, I banged out enough of them, I knocked out enough of them, and I won every case in front of the chief. Oh Jads. yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I won every case. So it's the same as here, adjudications and all that type well, of Well, this is what happened. Let me give you an example. One day now, yeah, I've got, I got 27 months for it, yeah. I spent seven months, yeah, in a black hole, you might as well say, with two other people, yeah. And this cell, there was no telly, yeah. Londoners and Englishmen, you're lucky, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was no telly, there was no music, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just books. Books and backgammon and cards. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the next few years. Yeah, understand it. I read hundreds of books, fam. Yeah, I was stuck in books. Yeah, so I educated myself deeply in that place there. Yeah, I done counselling in that place there, and I become a counsellor because I learnt, I absorbed the counsellor's state of mind because I was locking horns with him, Jads. Yeah, okay. I tell him, nah, nah, nah. I thought I knew it all, but hear what? After nine months of being in his class. I started to adapt his way of thinking now. So I got all the English boys out of their cells mm -hmm. yeah, and into counselling. And guess what? Enough of them. Fucking one or two of them had got buggered and all that and molested and all that when there was kids in that. That's why they were oh, doing yeah. that. It's Me, I know I've done that. I, I was carrying a cupboard for myself. I wasn't doing it out there. No, I was no mule for no one. You understand me? Yeah. And I realised the story behind the mules, yeah, it was deep, man. It was deep. But I got that skill from there anyway. I got a skill. I'm a master baker too. Yeah, I learned oh, to I could bake all types of carrot cake, banana cake, anything like that in mass production by hand. Yeah? So, my, my experience in there, the first day that I was going in there, I, I got sentenced to three years, right? So, the first day that I went, I was on my way... Yeah, Go in on, the back yeah. of the police car. Yeah, all I heard was the two officers saying, "Boy, go, blam, boy." I let a man getting bullied inside there. I said, "Huh?" I said, "What? What you?" Because Bayesian, the Bayesian dialogue is so that they're, they're almost singing when they're talking. The man, I said, "What did you say?" He said, "Go, blam, a lot a man getting bullied inside there. A lot a man getting bull. What's bull?" I don't know nothing yeah. about no bull. Yeah. I know about batty man. I don't know about buller man. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I now know. So the man said, yeah, man. Now we started to talk to me. Yeah. Two police officers, yeah. I'm in the back of a, a police car driving down this country lane towards the prison, yeah. And these Bayesian officers are telling me a lot of man getting rape inside there. I said, what the, uh, bro, from there my back was up. I was shook before I even got in the gate. Yeah, when I got through the gate, yeah, they took me up to reception. Bro, when I see this brother in there, a prisoner in there was whammy in our cars. Like this man was benching 60s, this man was scotting, this man was humongous. Bro, when I see the way the man walked, I said, oh my rascla. The man was wench and he was a batty man as well. I said, fucking Later, hell, Biggs. I don't know what the rascal is going to go on now. I said, nah, my back's overly up now. 
After I got my suit and that, they took me down to the dungeons. That's what they call it, D and E, the dungeons. You start off in Glendary Prison. Anyone that knows about Glendary, they burnt the place down in the end because of the Batman business in there. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Yeah. Go on. So what happened now? The the free strap sergeant, because it's run like in an army way. It's not run like like English prisons. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's run like army, like sergeant, chief. Yeah. Right. So the free strap sergeant was taking me to the wing. Yeah. And I see two men, yeah, on each side of the, the entrance of the wing, they're standing there, both of their mop buckets in their hands, holding their brooms, yeah, right? And guess what? They got their fucking bandana at the front of their head like Tupac, yeah? And I thought, right, oh, them man look funny still. Them man... As I'm walking past these two guys, with the officer, you know, to go to my cell, you know, bruv, right? They said, go out, blame you, boy. I'm going to jump on your bones tonight. I said, what? I said, the fuck are you talking about, you cunt? And then I kicked off straight in there, there and then. Boom. They wrapped me up straight away. You understand me? Yeah. I bet you're going to jump on my bones tonight. Nah. Not having I'm that, that guy. I'm a warrior player. I'm a warrior bee. And like I said, like I know myself. I got held in a cell. I was not held in a cell. I was in a cell. And I, even a yard man tried to thing and all that. I said, bro, I said, allow me, because you don't know me. I was wrapped up from a kid by my brother, and I will wrap you up, you know, because that's the realness. I was wrapped from a kid, I'm just Just a fight, yeah. a fight, fight. My brother used to choke me, choke me, choke me, choke me, choke me, choke me, bro. I had to fight to get out. He see I was a fat kid, and I got to fight. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> you understand me? So he taught you. Bro, taught you a lesson. Bro, one day in the cell, and that's how I know. One day in the cell, Jads, yeah? The man, he said, bomber clout, boy, you stink out the bomber clout cell. I said, bro, I said, allow it, man. Because what happened was, I moved into the front of the prison where I started working in the bakery shop. And guess what? I'm starting to eat good food now. Mm. You understand me? Seven months, I ate just plain rice with a tablespoon of corned beef. And I mean, a tablespoon of corned beef, bro. Yeah? That's what and you're a getting. bowl of rice. Yeah. Daily. That's what you're getting every day, yeah. Yeah? So, cuz... You know what happened, Jads? I'm in the cell, yeah, with this Vince, other Vincey, which I now know was a funny man, bruv, yeah? And this yard man, bro, yeah? There, there's no buzzer, like English jail, yeah? Mm -hmm. When when the gloves them lock up inside there, it's you, B. It's you to the morning, B. you to the morning. Yeah, if you're not on this, if you're not on it, holy corner. Enough of them, man, they got terrorised in there, them English man in there. They got terrorised, bruv, yeah? But the yard man, he started to, to come to me. He, he he got up. One day I said, oh, fuck you, man. And I got to my feet after about a week of taking his abuse, you know. The man charged at me, Jads. And as he done, I just sidestepped him, clamped him, headlocked, boom, put him, body slammed his neck down into the ground and started to choke his mother. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. Started to choke him up, Jads, yeah? Yeah. From there, they said the crazy English man, he's on it, mate. They allowed me from there. Jads. They, they left you alone. Me. Yeah, they left me alone because they know that at the end of the day, you're gonna fight. I've done a sentence within a sentence within a sentence. First sentence it's being the sentence. Yeah. The second sentence is being abroad. Yeah. And the third sentence is I never got no correspondence from no one. No post. The only orders, person that come was Laddie Dad, and my what, eyes laddie? was running water when I see him. I cry. Laddie, Laddie, Laddie Dad. Yeah, Laddie come from Trinidad. Oh for yeah. Fifteen minutes, and when I see him, I went. Laddie, man, my water's running out my eyes. 15 minutes, a 15 minute flipping, imagine that. Or we'll visit. A visit with 15 minutes, bro. Okay. <laughs> but he come, he dropped the change off, boom, boom, boom. That's a boost, right? Yeah, man, come on, man. That was halfway a bit of, through a bit, of, a bit of support there, a bit of yeah, moral support man. there. That's right. But I, I come out of that place there, man, though, still. You understand me? So no when, did, when did you leave that place? Do you remember what year? Boy, 2000 and, 2004, I got September the 11th. Oh, yeah? The day of the bombing. Yeah. Boy, that was Came significant back. for me. And then I come back in 04 talking full evasion. Full evasion, yeah? Yeah, full evasion. And then what did you do when you and got you know back what? here? I, I'll never forget it. My boy, Rich Kid, he picked me up from the airport. Yeah, oh, yeah. those who know Rich Kid know Rich Kid. Man, I don't yeah. need to talk it anymore, yeah. yeah? So here what now, the man had limousine out there. Imagine I stepped out there looking at the car thinking, fucking no, that's nice. I'd love to be getting back in that. You know what I was there? Then he jumped out of it. Said, Biggs, what? Mm. I said, I was speechless. But I now started talking to him, and I'm talking fully Bayesian. He said, Biggs, man, allow it, man. Don't talk. I said, bro, I can't help it. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yeah.
ain't funny. So, so from there, it was straight, straight to the straight. He took me out, food, this, that, shopping, you know what I mean? The rich trip club that night, you know what I mean? Okay. And yeah, it was nice, man. Then I ended up meet. then I ended up drawing a stripper, you know, imagine this, Jads. But I had the link, as soon as I come back, you know, Fenton smart, I mean, yeah, yeah, I had, I had the I had the link though, and he knows me already. Straight away, I was getting the units them for like 20, 20 racks a, a, a brick. You understand me? Okay. I, I had I had the connects. I still got the I had the connects. You understand me? Okay. So because I'm reformed now. Yeah. This I'm right. I'm reformed. Yeah. This is in my past life. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it was. Everyone was logged on to me from there because I was getting the units for twenty, and then pushing them up for twenty seven. So what happened? How did you end up back in prison over here? What? Oh, you what know happened? what happened, right? The connect, it just disappeared, right? Yeah. So I had this big chunk of money. I didn't know what to do with it, yeah. So me being me, I decided to send someone back across the water myself. Oh, yeah. So I sent five racks across there as well. No, what happened was this. This is exactly what happened. I met a girl, yeah, and within nine months, yeah, I went, to, took her to Miami, yeah, we flew to Trinidad. Now, I used to be quite friendly with a guy, a, a Trinidadian guy, Guyanese, yeah? Now, I went and looked him up, and cuz, I dropped him four racks for the work, yeah? Told him what it was, and the people went over there, they ended up jumping on them in Tobago. Do you understand me? And it was all madness, bruv. Like, I've got the, I've got the girl ringing me from Trinidad prison, s saying, oh, or, or at or the police station, oh, what can I do? This I said, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Ain't nothing to do with me, bro. You understand me? We're all doing jobs out here. If you're doing a job, it is what it is. I sat down for you how got, long? You got captured, now well, you just have to well, work, is what you're and, like, and the thing about it was like, it was so bad how it all happened because imagine the guy that bit me, yeah? He bit me. So what happened was now, when everything went to pot, and I went on another bit of work, yeah, to try and get the chunks again. Then I had the birds in the sky running me down. I was back out the country, yeah, on my Vinci passport, yeah. I was gone, fam, yeah. Okay. And that's when I was gone for 18 months. I went and, because don't forget, I've got my properties in that in St. Vincent. So I'm all right, you understand okay. me? So I went out there, stayed out there for 18 months. And my other brethren ended up getting a nine, because he didn't want to come with me. Yeah, oh, he stayed there and they gave him the bird. Yeah. Due to the girl and the right, whatnot. Right, right. So you just can't trust no one. Bruv, you don't even know what happened next, Jads. A Go girl on. come over there, yeah? Now, I, I, I was fully not coming back to this country. I'm living in Vinci now. I'm running my bar, sitting down. I'm all right, yeah? If I wanted to, I could live off the breadfruit in my trees. <laughs> but it's the truth. Because it happened to me one stage. I had to send someone up there to get the breadfruit of the tree to carry to the market. Anyway, I met a girl out there, this after running from this country, you know. So we remodernized the bar, yeah, done it all. She came out there. She stayed out there for six months with me, Judge, yeah. Anyway, boy, I stopped the smoking thing, Judge, yeah. I stopped smoking. And what happened was this girl, every time we used to come back from the rave on the weekend, she said, oh, do you fancy getting a bit of a... Uh, a bit of white and that. I said, no, 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 forget that. We're not doing nothing of that, you understand me? Because I stopped it. I didn't want none of that, you understand me? That was me? all the jungle days, right? Well, no, nah, this was a few years later. OK, go on. Yeah, but what happened was, like, I'd already been bunning down Roma in the Caribbean anyway. You okay, understand me? Okay. I was bunning. I was already living out there a year now. You understand me? I bought a nine bar and just put it in the ceiling, in, in my ceiling. And I was just smoking like a madman out there, cos. Not and good, not yeah, good. it wasn't good. It wasn't good, bro. And and like I say, if I never went mad from being out there, then boy, you understand me? So what happened, cuz? Now, this girl, yeah, and I feel bad about it, yeah? She turned from being a nice, crisp black girl to skin and bone until she had to go back home, bro. Addicted. Bro, she was fully addicted, bro. And, and don't forget, the Cuba, out there is cheap. Like, an eight ball is like a score note. You okay. understand me? So you could imagine, bruv, it was mad. The levels. And what, what the bad thing about it was she flew home. And I loved that girl, you know. I did love her still. I'm not going to lie. I loved the girl. So here what now, me being me, I want to go back home now. Because she's gone. Yeah. 
So I decided to go to my bridge in, in the ghetto to see if he could get me a passport built. He got me the passport built, Jado, and I flew into the country. I flew, I flew into the country, yeah, you could snip. I flew into the country as a different person. Do you understand me? Okay. So basically... You came back to England? Yeah. Did you go and find her? No, I got as far as Strange Ways. Straight away, as soon as you came back? I got a five and a half straight in my ass. For? For food again. Yeah, you tried to bring some back with well, you? Well, what I'd done this time, yeah, I found out a plastic which was very, very soft, very tough, yeah, that I could basically, you understand me, mould and make a giant nappy out of it, yeah? Oh, yeah. So I made a giant nappy, yeah? I put a half a box of the Bang Bang in this giant nappy, yeah? Word up? Yeah. And then I put a Yourself. woman's girdle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put a woman's girdle on. Okay. Yeah, two two sizes too short. So this thing was pressed down. You understand yeah, me? Yeah. It was it was it was a good job, a good invention of mine. Do you understand me? But it never it never worked. Bro, hear what now? I beat Barbados this time. <laughs> I beat them. Yeah, but I got as far as Manchester, Manchester above. And you know all that done me. You know all that done me, was the simple reason that. The the officer said, "What what what? How comes that I've flown to Manchester if my receiver's address is in London? Because don't forget, I got a letter of receivership from the Gian, mm -hmm. yeah. And then basically, you know, I was coming in as a Vincentian now, yeah. And I'm talking fully Vinci now because yeah, I've yeah. been there 18 months. I've been there now, okay. So I spent a good few years in the Caribbean at a time, so I was able to really adapt, you know. Anyway, he started questioning me." And guess what? One question led to another, to another, to another. And then, you know what, Cos? When he said to me, when he said to me, uh, we're going to take you for a body search, da, 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 da. That's when the cockney come out. I said, what's well, shut your fucking mouth. I went from being fully a thing to cockney. Now, shut the fuck up. I walked into the back room, yeah, and I started stripping because there's no way they're going to degrade me and get the fucking, the, the nappy off me. Yeah. I said, oh, don't move. I said, shut your fucking mouth. And I, ri I just ripped it off and I threw it on the table. See it fucking there, you cunt. I just threw it on the table, Jads. Oh, that was no. it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, because there was no way going to degrade me like that. You understand me, bro? They said, oh, what you got there? It was a giant nappy, cuz. And guess what? I would have got you, you know. <laughs> I would have got you, man, but boy. It, crime it, don't pay, man. That was another five and a half years out of my life. Gone. So how much years have you spent away? Boy, I've done 15 years. Behind the door? In total. No, not by... Behind the behind the door, I reckon it's about nine in total, nearly a decade. Yeah. Yeah. Not good things. Not good things. It's not good. We don't man. want no one to follow in that. We don't want no one to follow well, that. Well, they can't follow that path. because look, my my the, look, the path's the path. But at the end of the day, man, if you ain't got too good and you ain't got heart and you ain't got all of that, step off. Don't do it if you if, if you ain't if you're not strong enough to 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 take the consequences. Yeah. Got all these kids out there must think that they can do it. They must believe that they can do it. But hear what now? When you're sat in, in front of them four walls, you know, and guess what? All you can do is read the Psalms that the Rasta man give you for protection, yeah? Can't hear what now? How much time did the duppy hold me down in my sleep in that place? Oh my God. But you know what I done? I read my Psalms, bro. Say Every your Psalms day, to release you. Psalms. 24, 91, 52, 101. Bro, religiously, I was in hell in there, bro, because it was like hell. I mean, like, because everyone was in, in the thing together. You had rapists, paedophiles, this, that, da, da. Everyone was together. No sections. No section enough, bro. So, you, so you're chatting to someone and then you're realising, my man got done for raping a kid. And not like, good, not you start to make friend with that person or, you know, because the last thing you do in prison is, Ask someone like, you know, like that there? But the bad one started to get, you know what I mean? Oh, he's in for that, that he's in for that. You know, you understand? And before you realise it, yeah, you there's a lot. yourself and you know what? people. I learnt some history because what I learnt that back in slavery days, yeah, that the Barbe the ba Barbados is flat, yeah? yeah? So, slavery days, the slave master was able to round up the Bayesians like you wouldn't believe. The Vincentians, the Jamaicans, the Grenadians, we all, we all got mountains to run up, B. So yeah. they got to fight an uphill battle. That's why it was harder for them to conquer us. 
yeah? That's why the Beijing's become the house slave, yeah? Because the white man went over there, they conquered them at, at that stage, mm -hmm. yeah? And Tamed them. Yeah, that's why the Beijing speak the way they do. They've got that bit of, that, they sound like they're from Yorkshire or somewhere, right there, boy? Or it, it sounds like okay. Yorkshire sort of thing. It comes from them days there, bro. And like this, that's I learned a lot about Caribbean history. You understand me? I learned a lot, man. Yeah, I did. I need to get a ghostwriter, you know. Why? Because I got the I got this the cover. It's called Stubborn as a Mule. Because don't yeah. forget, you know, I went through the ports twice, Jads. Think about it, bro. I went through Barbados again, Holmes. Yeah, but people. No, go but it's Barbados. it's insanity, bro. But and insanity sells. So I'm just thinking, like, you know, right now, there's definitely got a book that I wanna. I want to start write a, book. a book. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Because, you know, I believe that everything that I know, that I've learned, everything that I'm about, I can infuse people, I can give people, I can share. Do you understand me? And so like what? I say, my my, 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 my thing's living. I've, I've lived, I've lived. As they say, I'm living, I've lived, bro. So for me now, it's about giving back. It's about... You know, not being so selfish as a person, even like with things, yeah? Because being a DJ, don't forget, in the music scene, it's very me, 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 me. And it's very, you know, you, you, you always want. It's a very egotistical situation to be a DJ. Do you understand me? In other words, it gasses you to high heaven, bro. Yeah. Well, like yeah, because you don't have to work word. for girls, bro. You don't have to work. Like, no, Everyone man. just loves you. You just turn. All you got to do is turn up. Now that's arrogance at its best. Okay. That's that's what that's a West London saying. And that was your only work, bro. No, because to be honest with you, I. All right. The jobs that what I'm qualified in is this. Yeah, I'm a I'm a qualified electrician. Level oh, yeah. two. Oh yeah. I got that in Wayland. Oh yeah. HMP. Yeah. I'm a fully qualified gardener. I got level. One and two in horticulture. I got that in the Vern, yeah. I got level two in sports and recreation. I got that in the Vern, yeah. I got a diploma in painting and decorating. I got that in the scrubs. <laughs> Do you understand me? So all these people know, yeah, that boy, it's not about going to jail and it's not about any of that, bro. But you know what? Me, I always make the best out of a bad situation. You learned something. You yeah. tried to train I've got, yourself. I've got, yeah, I've have got, you used any of those skills when you come well, out? I worked as an electrician in in the Walt Disney's building in Hammersmith. Oh yeah. Yeah, I worked there. That was the first job I had. I was getting hundred and thirty pound a day, and I felt good about it. I loved it. Why did you stop? Well, I worked for about seven months, and then boy, CID turned up. By the time I was working in the BBC now, in White City. Mm -hmm. CID turned up looking there for me because I started, I relapsed again, started using drugs, and then I started, you know, doing stupidness, yeah, to yeah. feed my habit. So then please turned up there looking for me. And then, boy, I ended up sitting down for a little two years. Wait, you went back to jail again? Yeah, I went back to jail again, yeah. Yeah, it was stupid, man. And the thing and what was... For? It was for burglary, to believe it or not. It was completely out of character. And I was, and this just goes to show, know who you're with at a vulnerable point in life. Because all it was, I was on the roads with someone, yeah? And that person was a drummer, yeah? yeah. So what this person, they showed me how quick, it, how quick that they could get into a house with this piece of plastic roll. And I said, no, no, no. Well, no. a credit card to Lloyd's the door. No, it, well, it wasn't a credit card, it was a pl bit of plastic. Yeah, it looked like, yeah, yeah it was yeah. a Lloyd. Yeah. And Brett, bro, I was with this person, I was dreaming about getting a belly. No belly, bro. No belly. I mean, like, it was disgusting. We was taking frames of, frames, of, door frames out and shit like that. You understand me? And, like, it just got messy. It ended up sitting down for two years. But you know what happened? I come out and I went to a rehab. I went okay. to a rehab in South London called the Nehemiah Project. Oh, yeah. Now, the Nehemiah Project is a Christian-based place, yeah? Now, what it done, the little African woman there, she come and she just was the lovingest woman. You understand me? So I got that initial care as soon as I come out of prison. Well, when it, well, yeah, it was care. Because any time I come out before, it was just me in the roads. This time round, I said, no, I'm getting too old for this shit. Let me just fucking try and do something about it. And guess what? It hasn't been perfect. It isn't perfect up to date. But you know what? 
I'm managing me. I'm I'm happy. I'm relatively happy all the time. Okay. I can, I'm I'm okay with myself now. Do you have We're, a partner? Well, no, because um, I just split up with my baby mother. Okay, so you got children. Well, yeah, I, I've got a baby daughter, fifteen months old. Okay. And she's okay. just been talking into the the system. Into into care. Into care. Yep. And you obviously tried to get her back. Well, I spent six months in the social services house to try and prove myself. Now, what happened was, I was locking horns with them people, yeah, for me, just being me, yeah? So what it was, yeah, they done a hair strand test on me, yeah? Mm -hmm. And in the month of December, when my daughter was born, they're saying that I was using cocaine via my hair strand test. But, however, I spent 13 days in the maternity ward in, in Chelsea and Westminster when my babe mother went into labour. I spent 13 days in there with her, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so they think I use cocaine all these times now, yeah? And I went from there, as soon as the baby was born, we went straight in a cab to the South London social services place. For six months I was in there for, and guess what, bro? It wasn't destined to be for me, and it wasn't destined to be for her. But what it done, yeah, my daughter, it made me feel again, Jai. My, my daughter made me feel again, yeah, because I'd been hardened for years of, of prison sentence. I was hardened, yeah. I tried to cry for many years, I couldn't cry. I couldn't shed a tear. I choose to think of my mum, my dad, let me just think of sad things. Nothing can make me cry. But as soon as that daughter come along, my heart, man. Melted. And then it melted and then they just took it all away. The they system took it all away. just took it. Yeah, two, took months, her. two months ago. And still now, what? Still now, still now. They don't want to hand her back over? She's gone, bro. I want, I'm not allowed to see her until she's 18. See this system? This is not a good thing, man. But the only good thing is this. My son, he's 21, mm -hmm. yeah? The judge said that they have to have, yeah, face-to-face -face visitation. So here, what now? From my youth, is seeing. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to see her, man. Do you understand me, Jazz? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to hold faith in that, because here, what now? I so why have they decided that you can't see her? What? I'm not allowed to see her. I'm right. not allowed to see her, bro. They just decided that, they that you're not allowed. If you have a baby now, yeah, yeah, and they take that baby away from you, mm -hmm. yeah, bro, and they adopt it out, and it's a baby, you're not going to be able to see it because it's messing with the, the child's head. Do you understand? But who did to, to decide that you can't see your own child? What? Well, well, what made them decide that you're unfit to look after well, your own child? To be honest with you, I've got, I've got, I've got obviously. Prison sentences. It doesn't mean that you can't I've look after your father. I've got drug, uh, drug. As your child, sorry. Yeah, I've got drug. Obviously, uh, they see misuse of drugs. You understand me? Because obviously, you know, if you've been, if you've been nicked or you're going to prison and you test positive for for class A drugs, they see, they got you down as like, boy, you're you, the world's worst. You're not going But they don't know how you, some of us can use that product and live like king and 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 maintain an existence. They're looking at you like you're the scum of the earth, bro. So it is something that if anyone has a kid, yeah, mm -hmm. and your your partner is using class A drugs, know that that is one of the most heart wrenching thing. Especially if you're getting older, you know, B. Because the older you get, you get a bit more softer in yourself. So a man that's thing now, me, I feel like my conscience is exactly where I want it to be. And it was missing for years, bro. Yeah, it was missing. Yeah. But that doesn't sound nice at all, man. Knowing the system just do what they want to you. Bro, like I said, what what didn't help me was the fact that my baby mother has already had two of her kids taken off of her. Okay. Yeah. So, that's, so that was like, that's, they found her fucking face down, unconscious, drunk on my birthday. You understand me? And hear what now? I dropped her back at her house and said, go in your house. Yeah. I'm not thinking with you. I played my first DJ in set. I called up the radio station and said, yeah, here, what now? It's bigger, John. It's my birthday today, but I'm coming to play a set. Lay low FM up the Grove. Yeah? Bam! Hit down the Grove now. Boom! Start tear down some music in there. She start drink the Martell. Next thing now, she's coming crashing down on the fucking decks. I said, what the fuck you do? It's 
bro. Madness, embarrassment, man. embarrassment. This is yeah. strange behavior. So I ended up dropping her back home, yeah. I dropped her home and hear what now, bro. She ended up getting, they, they ended up finding her. That was the nail in the coffin, bro. They and where was the child? The child was already took by foster carers by then. Okay. Yeah, already took, man. She's beautiful, but I know I'm going to see her again, you know. I know that. Yeah, and that's well, my, that's my... From you know that. I'm deep, bro. Like, right about now, bro. I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for a, a private eye. No long thing, bro. I hit a belly, I'll go and pay for a private eye. Yeah, yeah, your name's your name, bro. You just need to know where she is <laughs> at all names, times, right? Like, come on, B. That's all it is. And know that if the, if her parents, the people that are looking after her, it's merging. I'm going to have to merge then. Because that's my blood. That's my creation, B. Yeah. yeah? So if I know now, if I go now and I, and I, and I, and I go and have a look, yeah? Boy, I can have a look for a long period of time. And I can have a look, yeah? And see what the hell's going on, make sure she's all right. And then I could go to my grave feeling a bit better. <laughs> you know them ones there? 18 years from now, think of it. You put 18 onto, on, onto 46. So, 18, 56. Boy, enough man, they were each over. <laughs> think about yeah, it. Man's all dropping dead at our, our age now. Think and about with that. With everything that's going on about the COVID and... Whoa. How have you been getting through that? Well, to be honest with you, COVID, all I've done was I just basically, I just never relented, bro. I don't ever relent. I don't ever sit down. I don't ever cry, get depressed or anything. Depression? Huh? It don't touch so me. So lockdown, lockdown. Lockdown, it... there, there is no lockdown for me. I was up, down, round and round, you know what I mean? You name it. Because don't forget, I'm a bike rider. I'm a okay. cyclist. Okay. So my, my, my pleasure in life comes from riding my bike, B. You don't understand the amount of, like... The amount of good, you know what it's like to train, innit? Yeah, yeah. To get that good feeling. Yeah. I get that every single day, bro, and just for my bike. And I can conduct what I'm doing. You understand me? So. I can't go wrong. The bike riding for me has helped me keep me sane, bro. Because without it, I believe that with everything that's happened as of recent, that simple thing there, without physical demand, because you know what it's like when you've done jail time. Boy, the gym is something that gets you through your bird. Am I right or wrong? You're right. So it's it's it, it's it's the same thing applies for me and my bike. If that bike was gone now and I didn't have that boom 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 boom, I'd probably start getting a bit. You understand? So I hear you. I hear you. So what? How would you advise um, children not to follow in your footsteps? What would you say to them? The main thing is this year: know your people, know your friends, yeah, and know that in a blink of an eye, you know. If you're not about that life, step off. You can step off, it's easy. All you gotta do is turn to auntie, turn to your sister, turn to your, even your mother, yeah? Step off, yeah? Cause it's not nice. You're sitting in the cell now and you're shitting yourself. Cause I hear what now? All the youngsters, they're merging them with all the, with all the adults now. Think about that. Yeah, it's true. So Juvenile. these youngsters, these white, they're called white A's now. YAs. They're called young adults. Yeah, not YOs. Yeah? Not YOs no more. Not young offender. They're young adults. So remember this. These young adults, they're merging them with big men. So a little young boy is on a big wing with a big man. Think about it, man. And a lot of shit is going on that we don't know about in the English system. There's a lot of serial batman out there, bruv. A lot of man that we know that is meant to be foundational man them, that they're funny man. You understand me, bro? And that, that's just jail time. They've done a lot of jail time. And boy, they've gone from that to that. You understand me, bro? So the story, the message is, bro, you don't want to go into no jail. You don't want to go there because I hear what now. You don't know whether you're mentally prepared for that, them, all them hours, let alone physically. You understand me? You don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen to you, bro. So why, why, what, yeah? Why you wanna go and do that to your mom, dad, sister? And look at you now. You're crying like a little what? Yeah. Wake up. It don't make no sense. Yeah. Wake, wake up. up. I said to listen. I said to when I see enough people's youths out there, I met them. No, especially if they're not about this, that, the other. I met them. No. Hear what? Now this is where it is, you know, bro. No. Be smart. Be. You understand me? Because you see the roads, cause. It is very, very, very sticky, bro. Yeah. It's not like how it used it to be when bro, I remember in the 90s and the no. 80s. And... I remember when we grew up, yeah, it was about smoking hash, yeah, 
getting the cookie out, squeezing it like a pum pum. You understand me? And that was nice. That's what that's what we grew up. Go to a rave. You understand me? It wasn't about boy. Go and get that 12 year old. We're gonna merge on him now. Can I hear what now? He's gonna be running the bits and bobs up and down, this, that, the other. It's all a planting. You can't plan for people picnic. I hear what now? You plan for mine, then boy, I'm gonna come for you, bruv. So you can't make a plan for my you. Uncle and me can make the plan. You understand mm, me? Mm. Yeah? You can't make no plan for my kid and head top him and then boy next thing now he's running around for you and he's lying to me. Enslaved into right. Into Enslaved, drugs. encroached, embezzled in anything you want. <laughs> you understand me cuz? It's can't true. Work, now man. the kids are it's like they got no direction no more. That they, they bro It's like they got direction and their directions is from the boss that's running that's that's giving them the packs. Yeah? Because here what now? You could have the biggest name, the biggest brand or whatever, yeah? And here what now? There's gonna be someone that would wanna dispose of your child, you know? Yeah? You see my son, yeah? My son is foolish to the point of not knowing himself, yeah? Too brave, I call him, yeah? Whereas me, I'd assess the situation, but he's going in head first, yeah? But, but that's he wants youth. To... Yeah, that's I know, youth, isn't it? I know, I know, I know. And I just think that this day and age, like having a punch up, boy, bruv, that's what we've done. They but, don't do that no more. But now, it's not that now. It's like, boy, you're going to my sister's funeral, she's going to your auntie's funeral. Like, it's all a madness. Yeah? Why, why though? Why we do? I don't know, but. You know, and, and the thing is, like, I'd say this year, because here, what now? It's man around about my age. Yeah, that's reaping all the riches from this gang business. Am I right or wrong, B? Because it ain't yeah, no youngsters yeah, that ain't yeah, reaping yeah, it. Yeah. It's man them that is in, on our age that's got the grid locked down. We've got all your picnics locked down over there and we've got all your picnics locked down over there. It's man them that is our age that's doing it, B. Ain't no youngsters that ain't doing it. It's us. So it's for Where us the to change them. Absolutely, goddamn lootly, bruv. It's about us being smart enough to know that, boy, Calm as a motherfucker when it come and bite you, you know, B. It is not nice, you know. You see, karma, bro. Like I say, like, I, me and karma get on well, you know, fam. Because I know instantly, I speak to myself and say, no, if you do that, karma's going to get you. And I don't play with her no more, bro. I can't take her licks no more. You understand me? I so, you. because, you know, like, when you got that, that um, thing about you that... You, you go the whole the whole hog, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, people utilize that fact. People want to be around you for that reason. They use you. People want to say, "Oh, come, oh, bigs, oh, this and that." I used to rave with certain man, and certain man them know that boy, boy, bigs is on job, you know. And they would stand up and start. Mm, I don't even call in no names. <laughs> they'll yeah. stand up and they'll give it the big one. And yeah. wait for it to go off hey, and step brother, back. Hey, and let you go step in. Step back, lean back and do the rock away. They're just leaning back, bro. And it's all me. I'm getting stuck in. And guess what? I'm the MC or the DJ. How's that work out, bro? And it all goes And all you're doing is coming, drinking, champ, champ, champ. And, bruv, it's crazy. Friends, still. friends, yeah. Fake friends. Friends, man. Well, if you choose I, your I, friends properly, I, I what do you that, say? That's a good thing I to think say that to you them. Can't, yeah, that's a real good thing. But I don't think that like it's a fake friend. I think it's the minerals of a friend. Some friend have got different minerals, as you would know. Yeah, you see, from I come over there, from west, from east to west. Yeah, I literally had to fight the whole school. Yeah, from for acceptance. Well, it was the best fighters in the school. And there was tall Leon, Leon Bartlett. He, me and him never fought, because there was a clause that we come to that, boy, we're not going to fight because we don't want to know who, who's going to win or who's going to lose. You know, like that there, there was a clause between three of us in the school. Me, Delroy and Leon. Well, Delroy's when you, when you just call that mutual respect. Well, yeah, 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 absolutely. Because he was in fear of me, I was in fear. It was a three-way fear that we just said, you know what, we're all the best. We're three of us are the best. You understand me? Well, we disrespect each other when yeah. we go there. Well, that's right. That's right. It's, it, it was a smart thing to do. It was a smart thing to do because no one got... No, I never brought him out. He never brought me out. And, you know... But it was interesting because the very first fight I had was with this guy, yeah, 
and I had one person behind me and the rest of the school was behind him. Yeah. And how did it and, how did it turn out? Oh well it went my way, didn't you it? You won. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause where it is one thing about Hackney, East London man, they're quick they're quick on a head button movement, yeah. They're they're butters. So we learnt the button from a young age, yeah. And they didn't know about head button. They didn't know about it. So everyone, crap, I'm just nutting them. Do you understand me? They used to bang my mind. <laughs> I'm bringing the nut into town, into school. I'm head butting people, bro. <laughs> Primary school gang. <laughs> hey, nice to truth, bro. Richard St. Louis ears, weighed him in. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, Richard's one made me laugh, though, man. I remember I beat Richard outside the, um, outside the gates, boy, Canberra school. You understand me? And he was doing some, he was doing something like that, like you know, like that. Handbag, there. handbag, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, 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 handbag, yeah. that. Three thirty. Richard, yeah. if you're watching it, don't watch the face, yeah. But it's the truth. All them times there, like we used to hang around Shawnee B and all that when Shawnee B was fat. Them time there, Shawnee B. The Fox. same one who does the. Um... Yeah, BBC One Extra oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Them man. Yeah, Shawnee B used to try bully man up back in the day though, but he knows that he couldn't get it done though. He tried to though, yeah, because he was overweight like me as well. Okay. Yeah, surely be foots. Cause they did have the sound back then, didn't it? Yeah. But yeah, man, it's it's been it's been it's been good, man. So what are you doing now with yourself? Well, now at the moment, bro, to be honest with you, I'm reaching certain heights, bro. I'm like, all right, now I'm I'm I'm, I'm working on a retirement fund. I'm I'm on a retirement process right now, cause. Uh, so that past life, you put it all behind you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah? And you're doing positive now. I'm doing positive now. I'm doing real positive because you know what it is now, yeah? My thing now is to give back, yeah? And with the power, yeah, of what is at my disposal, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because what it is, I've got, a, I've got a great use of the English language, yeah? And I've learned it from reading hundreds of books, yeah? So what I do is I let the words work for me. The words to all these youngsters, yeah, your words are your biggest tool in life, yeah? Because what it is, my voice can merely open doors, but hear what? It can also shut them, you know? So no, I know that with what I'm doing, yeah, and where I want to be going, yeah, I want to be helping and putting that message across. I, I want someone to come say, right, Biggs, we're doing this now, bam. I know you can do it, Biggs, bam, let's do this, boom. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm there, I'm ready, I'm ready like that. Because I know that anything else that, that, that I can do now or next week that I've got going on in my life now, yeah? If I had the opportunity to spend six months with this here and bro, like I say, the world's my oyster car. I've got the bars. I've got what it takes to rebus. I call it the rebus. <laughs> it's true, bro. It's not over until it. it's over, B. Yeah, well, as long it's as you not, believe it, and that's the main bro, thing, isn't it? Bro, at the end of the day, like I say, cuz, yeah, anything that I do, fam, I hit gold, B, yeah? And I say that with arrogance, because you know why? I know what it's like to sniff out the treasure, fam, yeah? Because if you don't, if the treasure ain't even like, boy, a woman that you might want, or a job that you might want, yeah? Then guess what, yeah? That means that you're not moving in no direction. Yeah, I can no actually, goal. yeah, I can, for example, if I'm doing a, a particular thing, I'll do it to the best of my ability. So, for example, I worked alongside all the top jungle MCs and DJs, and then I jumped to become a garage DJ. Then I started working with EZ, the dream team. Do you understand me? I was knocking it with all the big garage heads. So there's like, there's nothing I can't do. Because I got that confidence because I've always give all. Do you understand? Yeah, I give what try my best. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah, don't give up. No, nah, that's Let's it. Let's try. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, man. Yeah? Definitely. Well, well, I think it's been nice talking to you. Yeah, man, it's been good. And as I say, this is the first, this for me is a door opener for me now. Yeah, because it was like, I broke my virginity doing this. I've never done an interview like this. No? No. Okay. So, this is... And it's like counselling. No, this is like counselling. Well, it, it, it is and it isn't because, like, don't forget, you're asking me the questions. 
Right. As opposed to me asking you the questions and drawing it out of you. Okay. So, so any time I do sh like share that they call it, cause I've been to NA meetings and all that as well. When I share my experience, bro, yeah, I share it in a way that you're gonna feel it, hold it and own it, yeah? Because I hear what now, I got the wisdom, yeah? And I got the understanding and I got what it takes, yeah? To, to you know, do what's right. You understand me? If I'm studying badness, yeah, the quick but quick money, uh, it things don't work for me, yeah. But when I'm studying goodness and good things, because I'm so, how can I put it? I'm not trying to become because arrogant. How, because I've got that skill setting, yeah. The good Lord wants me to do a certain thing, and that is give that message across by the thousands, bro. He wants to put me in the setting that by the thousands, they're latching onto my voice and they're saying, blood, that man. Do you remember him? Who knows, Who knows, knows bro? Who, well, that's it, that's it. Absolutely. Okay, well, I'll Absolutely, thank you for that. Man. And I thank you too, my bro. This is Black QTV, speaking to Bigatron again. One, one. From West London. Done, no. Getting a brief breakdown of his life. Yeah, done, no.